Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Welcome to the Wednesday Bible class. We're going to start with a time of prayer. I'm reading from Psalm 103, verse 1 and 2. It says, Praise the Lord, my soul, all my innermost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Amen. Amen. If we look around, God has given us so many benefits. Even the air that we breathe is a benefit. So we lift up our voice and pray because somebody went to bed and did not wake up. And we are not better than the dead. It's just by his grace and mercy that you and I are still in the land of the living. So Amen. we lift up our voice and just tell him thank you for he is God and there is Hallelujah. 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 Father, we bless you, oh God. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you for you are the king of you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God who gives us the gift of the Lord. Our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Lord, be thou exalted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, glory be to your name, Father. 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 Glory Hallelujah, the source of your mercy, we are going to be consumed, oh God, hallelujah, because of your goodness, oh God, hallelujah, the enemy has not had the hallelujah. best of us, oh God, thank you, oh Lord, that you are the Alpha and the Omega, the, the beginning and the end, the one who has declared the end from the beginning, oh God, and so we bless your name, oh God Almighty, you are all powerful, oh God, you are omniscient, oh God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, oh God, that no one you are the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the new week, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your preservation, oh God. Thank you for your stability, oh God. Thank you, oh God Almighty, for your shelter and your protection. Thank you, oh Lord God Almighty, for your providence. Thank you, 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 Hallelujah, we thank you that we have been redeemed. We thank you that our sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. We thank you that we have been justified. No one deserves your praise. No one deserves your thanksgiving. Hallelujah. 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 That we are adopted. No one deserves your worship and adoration. Hallelujah. We thank you for the gift of your spirit, O God. For the Bible says, O Lord God, that if you shall be lifted up, you shall draw all men to yourself, O God. You are deserving of your adoration. You are 
Thank you that we have been praying for speed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To be saved through Jesus Christ. We are praying for time, O God, to be conformed into the image of your Son. Hallelujah. Reka be, 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 Jesus, amen. We are still praying. I'm reading from Isaiah 11, verse 2. It said, The spirit of blood will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If we show up and the Holy Spirit does not show up, there's no purpose to our meeting. We are going to invite the Holy Spirit. May he grant us the wisdom to understand what is being taught tonight. May he grant us the knowledge that we lift up our voice and welcome the Holy Spirit. Oh, God. We thank you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you tonight. Yes, Lord. Spirit yes. of the living God, we oh, welcome Oh, Spirit of the living Fresh anointing. Spirit of the living God, fresh anointing. we acknowledge you. Fresh oh, God, tonight. Fresh me. Fresh me. Fresh me. Fresh me. Lord. Fresh me. Fresh me. Fresh me. Fresh me. Fresh me. Fresh me. Fresh anointing, Lord. Breathe on us, Holy Spirit. Pray, O Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Breath of God. Breath of God. Breathe on us, O fresh, O Lord. We pray for fresh power tonight, O God. In our service, O God. Jesus let our service night be filled with your power and your presence, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have been with us, O Lord God Almighty, but I pray that you will be with us, O Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless us. Bless us. Bless us. Lord, with your presence, with your presence, with your mighty Lord. Hallelujah. Not just for your servant, but for the nearest, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit move on every heart. Life of the man, it is a man who 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 is a man with the power to my soul, God, to penetrate the heart, to bring us the word, oh Hallelujah, hallelujah, to bring encouragement, to bring some forth, Lord, break up it, break up it, to bring a slashing, oh God, a rushing, oh God, training in righteousness, oh God, break up it, break up it, break up it, break up it, that the man of God will be all equipped for every good rest, break up it, 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 Lord, we pray, O Lord God Almighty, that may the angels of heaven, O Lord God, have any appointment of men in the concerning of this, 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 of this
the outside, oh God. Can I let them hear your voice, oh God? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We desire to speak tonight, oh God. And our desire is our expectation. Let's see our expectations, oh God. May you not just give us the word, but may the rima of the word, oh God, be accessible, oh God. May the logos of the word be accessible, oh God. May we be able to chew upon the word and meditate on the word tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh Lord God Almighty, that may we have utterance given to the speaker tonight, oh Lord God Almighty. We pray, oh Lord, that may there be clarity, oh Lord God Almighty. May there be conciseness tonight, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. May you, oh Lord, translate it to being a practical word tonight, oh teaching for us, oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord God Almighty. For the Bible says, oh Lord, that the ancients of the word, oh Lord God Almighty, bring light. It brings light and it brings understanding, oh Lord God. It brings wisdom, oh Lord God Almighty. Let the word of the Lord be clarified in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord God Almighty. Let the word of the Lord be clarified. Be, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So, Father, Lord, do that only what you can do, O Lord God Almighty. Exercise dominion tonight, O God. Exercise dominion, O Lord God. Exercise dominion, O Lord God Almighty. We resist every distraction, O Lord God Almighty, that might be going on in someone's life who's listening, O Lord God. Pray, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord God Almighty, that may your spirit, O Lord, reign supreme, O Lord, in the house, O Lord, in the heart, in the top place, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, your spirit to speak, oh Lord. Our ears, O oh Lord speak, Almighty, speak, speak, to be hearken unto you, O Lord God Almighty, and fine-tune to your voice, O Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord God Almighty. We come down, O Lord God Almighty, that the thoughts that might have crossed the confusion, O Lord, during this teaching tonight, Lord, that may take your place, O Lord God. Oh God, do that only what you can do, O Lord Almighty. Father, throw your glory around, O God, throw your wisdom around, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. Pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 We are still praying. I'm reading from Acts 16, verse 31. It says, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for household salvation. Proverbs 11, verse 30 says, Whoever wins a soul is wise. And um, we have to start winning souls in our homes, in our families. A lot of us who have families and friends who are not saved. We are going to pray that God should touch their hearts. The same grace that God has extended us. If it's not for grace, you and I wouldn't be sitting here today. God should touch their hearts and save them too. Shall we pray for household salvation? In the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are praying you, Lord. Thank you. 
Amen. We still pray. Lately, we have been praying for the presence of God, and you know, like even for the uh, service tonight, we're praying for the presence of God. But why, 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 why put emphasis on the presence of God? Uh, see those those uh, those who have been with Jesus, those who spend uh, uh, their time with Jesus. This is the distinguished one of the distinguished mark of a person who spend their time with Jesus is that they become more hungry. They get they get more hungry for a greater measure of, of, of Jesus Christ. They never get enough of, of Jesus. Uh, 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 there is no cap as to how much Jesus you can have. So don't let anyone cap your your your, your desire for Jesus. And 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 if if you spend more time with Jesus, uh, you 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 want to know Him better. One, and you want to draw closer to Him too. And also, you want to uh, grow in your knowledge of His way. So that's what we're going to pray for. We say, Lord, give us a hunger, a more hunger for a greater measure of Jesus. We want to know Him better. We want to we want to draw closer to Him. We want to be with Him. And also and and also, we want to grow. Uh, uh, in the knowledge of his way that's what moses said show me your ways amen and then god said that my presence will go with you uh, uh, and i'll give you rest that is what we want amen let's pray amen Lord Jesus, hallelujah. We don't we, we, we don't have enough of you. We want more of you, more of you in the church, oh God, more of you in our services, oh God. God. Manifest your presence to us more. We want to know you better, oh Lord. We want to be closer to you more and more, more than ever. Draw us, draw us, Holy Spirit, draw us ever closer to Jesus. Give us more of Jesus. Give us more of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Help us to grow in our knowledge of the ways of God. Show us, show us, show us your ways, oh God. Manifest your presence to us, Lord. We want more of your presence, Lord. We want to be, we want to be where you are, Lord. We want to be where you are. We want to spend more time with you, Lord. We want to be in our knowledge of you. We want to be in our measure, in the measure of you, in a greater measure of you. We want to be, 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 Lord. We want to be a Jesus who tests people, oh God, who have a passport with the Holy Spirit. Oh God, wake up, there, wake up, there, wake up, boy, wake up, there, wake up, boy, wake up, there, 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 yes, 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 Lord Jesus, yes, Jesus, you are the main thing, you are the main thing, not so far, you are everything, oh God, hallelujah, 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 you are everything, more of you, oh God, it's just not that you need to fear you, oh God, like that, but that you are the most of God, but that you are the most of God. Oh God, you are everything, oh God. You are everything, oh God. All of you, none of us, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All of you, Jesus, none of us, oh God. Hallelujah, wake up, 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 wake up,
our late pastor has uh, last Sunday let us know that uh, uh, within some weeks we will be going into the community to, to, to witness and to evangelize and, and, and the truth is that if uh, uh, God is going to need powerful witness in these last days. It's not only going to be. It's not only going to be uh, 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 just preaching the gospel. God is. God is. God is going to need men and women who uh, 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 who spend their time with Jesus. Men and women who who are shut in with Him. Uh, 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 with Him. So why? So that. So that. So that. So that. So that. So that. Uh, uh, let me put this in. So that they will. They, 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 they will know Him. They, 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 will, they will seek him uh, with their whole heart and with their, uh, with their whole soul. And that is what we want to get. We, we want to get. We, 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 our prayer is that God let every member of Influential Church cause, help us to, get, to, to shut ourselves in with you, to, to, be, to spend time with you and to seek you with their whole heart and with their whole soul because those are the people who are going to make the difference. Those, those are the people who are going to be a powerful witness for Christ. Amen. So we want to go to the community, but we want to go with power. And the only people, the only, uh, when, we, when, you, when you spend time with him and you go to the community, believe me, sometimes you might not even say a lot of things. Sometimes you might even fumble. But, but, but one thing, one thing uh, even your family, they can detect that, that there's another presence and they will see that this person has been with Jesus. And that is what we want. Amen. Let's Amen, pray. Lord. Lord, we want to be powerful witness for Jesus Christ, oh God. We want to spend more time with you. We want to be shouting with you, Lord. Speak to you with the whole heart, oh God, and with the whole soul, oh God. Better, <laughs> Yes, 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 Lord, you are commanded us to go into the world of God and to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and teach them to yourself all that you have taught us, O God. But we can't go there just with the gospel. We want to go there with life. We want to go there with your presence, O God. And those who, are, those who have been with you, those who spend time with you, O God, those, those who hang up for you, O God, those, those, those who preach with their whole heart, O God, and with their whole soul, O God, 
This is the one who goes with Jesus. we still pray another, another distinguished mark, mark of those who spend their time with jesus is that they, they gain they, they gain spiritual authority and the holy boldness the, the more the more time you spend with Jesus, the more you become like him in purity, in justice, in holiness, and, 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 and in love. And, and, and that, that holy work, that pure work, in, in turn, gives you a holy boldness for God. It gives you, that's why uh, there's a scripture in Proverbs that says that, that the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold, the righteous or those who, those who walk holy, those who walk, those who walk, uh, 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 who, who walk in purity. There's a, there's a there's a power that comes through purity and holiness and it gives you boldness to speak unafraid you are not afraid of anything i'm not saying this as a mere word if if just be just allow god to purify your life and to to sanctify you and see and see that and you, you you gain boldness you are not afraid that's what that's what comes that's what mark people who, who spend their time so we say lord our prayer tonight is that we want we want to know you more so that we become more like you so that we gain a holy boldness uh, uh, for you and also spiritual authority in everything that we do. Amen. Let's pray. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> the more quality time we be in Lord Jesus, the more we become like you in purity, in holiness, in justice, in love, O God, in gentleness, in humility, O God. Which give us, which give us a holy boldness, O God, a holy boldness for you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To be powerful witness for you, O God. Break a bay, break a bay, break a bay, break a bay. To our spiritual authority, O God. God, your word tells us that there is power in purity. There is power in holiness, O God. Break a bay, 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 break a bay. We want to be bold for you. We want to be bold for you, Father. We want to be bold for you, Jesus, O God. We can purify our heart more and more. Purify us, Lord. Make us more like Jesus. The, the more time we spend with you, O God. Break a bay, 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 break a bay. We rock a bow, rock a bay, we rock a bow, rock a bay. Rock a 
Amen. 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 Bless you, God. Bless you once again, Dick and Minister Crystal. It's now 8 30 p.m. Eastern Time, New York Time. And we are coming live from you uh, 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 from New York. And uh, tonight is uh, our Wednesday Bible teaching class. And I know that tonight God has a word for us because we never meet except when God wants to speak. And that is why that's why we come together. That's why we congregate together. We congregate together so that so that we will hear the voice of God from his holy scriptures. Uh, uh, so that is what we, uh, tonight we're going to open the Bible, the Holy Spirit's greatest product. Uh, uh, if you honor the word, you honor the Holy Spirit. And we just talk about the presence of God. Even though uh, prayer is key to the presence of God, if you also neglect the word of God, uh, uh, I doubt if, if, if you're, going to know, uh, uh, you're going to know God, you're going to know his presence. Because every knowledge, uh, 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 the, the special knowledge that we have of God comes, uh, or the special revelation of God comes to us from the Holy Scriptures. So that's why it's important. Teaching is very important. And tonight, tonight, uh, first of all, let me let, let me take this opportunity to uh, salute all the ministers and pastors of Influential Church and PowerPoint Ministry. Uh, 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 we thank God for your faithful service. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy being a shepherd. It's not easy being a pastor. But God, uh, God, give us more grace for the work that He has called us to. It, it is a holy. It, it, it is a holy. Uh, it's a. I would say it is a holy thing. To be called to preach the gospel, it is a it is a holy privilege. I will put it, and it's a sacred thing. Uh, we don't take the gospel lightly. We treat it as sacred, and and that is that is the burden of every preacher. So tonight, we, we, our prayer is that God will help us. I mean, uh, my uh, I, I will endeavor again and urge you to pray for your pastors and ministers because they need it. They need your prayers. Paul the apostle, one of the greatest uh, uh, theologian, one of the greatest witness for jesus christ and one of the one 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 of the greatest prayer warrior constantly constantly ask for the church to pray for them amen and that that is how god has, has ordained so pray for us we need it and also tonight also if you want to make contribution during the teaching you want to ask questions you can die uh, this number you can write this number so you can die in 917-338-1451 Nine one seven three three eight one four five one, and then you put you put the P number three seven three two one four four nine nine three seven three two one six four nine nine. Let me say it again. The P number is three seven three two one six four nine nine. Look like I made a mistake. So let, so so again. So one, I'll repeat it one more time. The P number is three seven three two one six four nine nine and then you put that the number signs and then you press one to unmute yourself then you'll be able to speak also i believe that the number is pinned on the youtube platform so 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 you can see you can see it from there also also you can you can type in your contribution and question on the platform and i believe that minister christian will be faithful to bring it to my attention tonight currently uh, in influential church we are teaching from the book of galatians uh, uh, Galatian is one of Paul's letter that he wrote to the to the to the churches. It's a short uh, a letter or it's a short document, but very a very important document in the faith in our in the faith of or, 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 or the faith of the New Testament Christian. And uh, together with the, the Book of Romans, it is the most it, it, it has the most it has, it has it has in it more uh, more doctrine than any other book. Most of our doctrine. Uh, 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 of our faith, the, the fundamental doctrine of our faith can be found in Galatians and, and Romans. And, and, and through history, through, through our history, God has used both uh, uh, Romans and Galatians, especially Romans, uh, 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 to, to, bring the, the, to bring the church through many trials. That's, where, that's how the Reformation even started. 
uh, when, when Martin Luther discovered justification by faith. That was in the book of Romans. So that is why we study uh, 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 the Bible to, 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 to know, uh, to know uh, what we believe and why we believe it. And, and, and I think last Sunday also, Reverend Acha made the same, uh, uh, the same statement. And, and, he, and, and if you have time, go, and, and go to YouTube and play the, the message back and, and listen to the message rope in righteousness uh, and the importance of, of of doctrine amen so doctrine is very important and again the reason why most of you are discouraged in your trying time is because you lack doctrine it's because you, you you don't know what what we believe you don't know you don't know your identity in christ and uh, uh, that that was the problem with the, the with, with with the the hebrew christians that's why the letter to the hebrews was written because they were in trying time but they were discouraged so, so it, uh, the, what the writer did was not to, to, give, to give them revelation. All he simply did is to remind them of doctrine, everything that he, he exhorted them with doctrine. So that's why uh, doctrine is very important because it helps you in, your, in times of trial. So open your Bibles to Galatians chapter number one. Let me see. In Galatians 1, I'm going to read, I'm going to read the whole verse again. It says, because we, we have two, uh, it has been two weeks with we, we last May, so I just want to read the whole text again. It says, Paul, an apostle, not from men, nor true man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers who are with me, to the churches of Galatia, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. 6. I am astonished that you are so quickly descending him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel, not that there is there is not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and what distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be a case. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you receive, let him be a case. For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God, or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I will not be a servant of Christ. For I will have you know, brothers, that the gospel that was preached by me is not man's gospel. For I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. It was, nor was I taught it but I receive it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the tradition of my fathers. But when he who had set me apart before I was born, and who called me by his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me or in me in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles. I did not immediately consult with anyone, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away into Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and remain with him 15 days, but I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. In what I am writing to you before God, I, did, I do not lie. Then I went into the region of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown in person to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only were hearing it said, He who used to persecute us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy and they glorify God because of me. We thank God for the blessing and the reading of his most infallible and inspired word. Amen. So 
once again, we have been treating the book of the book of uh, Galatians, and and we told you, and we told and we told you, uh, and I told you that we are we are we are you know that we are still on the introduction, and I told you that the first uh, ten verses of this uh, of this book is the introduction, and the five the first five verses. Of, of that introduction is the salutation. We already spoke uh, spoke on in, in details on the salutation, and then when you come to verses six to ten, uh, then Paul begins to give rebuke to uh, 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 to the church to the churches of Galatia, and, and that is what we have been talking about the rebuke that he was given to the churches of Gal uh, of Galatia, and 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 because because we have uh, uh, we are uh, the last time we met was two weeks ago. Because of that, I'm going to do. A review of what we we've, we've spoken so far before I speak on what I want to what I what I want to speak. So to, today I want to take I want to I want to do a review and then I'll speak on uh, what I want to say for tonight. Again, uh, 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 if I'm going to title this message, I say that I would entitle it "No Other Gospel." So you can say you can say "No Other Gospel Part Three." But but I want us to do a review of what we have studied so far. In, in so Paul start in verse six when he said that I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who call you by the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. So Paul, we, we spoke that uh, Paul, Paul said Paul, uh, Paul said that uh, that he was shocked or he was astonished because uh, uh, the Galatian churches were deserting him uh, 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 who called them by the grace of Christ. So first of all, when he when he when he said that they were deserting him. Uh, he meant two things. They were deserting him, Paul, uh, Paul, who brought the who brought the gospel to them, or who first preached the gospel to them. And Paul said, that, Paul said that this is uh, uh, he was shocked because he said that when he first came and he brought the gospel to them, when he preached the gospel to them, even though uh, when he came preaching the gospel, he 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 had an illness, a, 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 a very illness that was obvious, and that was not only obvious; it was it was such that it was repulsive. Like if if you if you see the sight of it, it become repulsive. It is possible that they saw that, and yet they receive him. They welcome him as an angel, or even 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 as though Christ Himself was preaching the gospel uh, uh, to them. So Paul was shocked. He said, "What happened in 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 in, 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 in your relationship with me? Who stole your the, the love the love that you have for me and the gospel?" So, so that was the first shock of Paul because he couldn't understand that he, 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 he knew because this were his convert and, 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 and he brought the, God, the true gospel to them. And even the, the shocker is that even the, 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 the circumstance in which he brought the gospel to, the, the gospel to them, they receive him and they love him. And yet, and yet here is now uh, some people coming in and then, and then, and then they, they, were, they were deserting Paul. They were turning for love for Paul and for, and for the gospel and turn it to what a different kind of gospel and then not only that he also said that they were deserting god himself who called them to himself that's what salvation really means god calling you to himself so it's that they were deserting god uh, who called the, who, who called them to himself by uh, 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 what in the grace of jesus christ so we told that that the means by which god saves sinners is what is grace grace is the means by which he saves sinners so he said that he said that these people are turning uh, from God because they are turning from the way of grace, the way in, in which God saved them to a world, to a different gospel or to a different way, to a different way uh, 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 of salvation. Remember, I said that, that there are two, 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 two uh, 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 there are two, uh, let me put it, there are two uh, 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 ways by which people choose to be saved. And, 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 and we said that the, the first one that people choose to be saved is one, grace. And we see that grace is God's way. That is God's way. And God's way, again, is grace. And grace is the means by which what he saves sinners through the atoning work of Jesus Christ. And then the second one, the second choice that people made for salvation is law. And but the problem with that, the problem with the law is that the law cannot save you. The Bible says that no one will be justified in the sight of God by the law and so that is man's way man's way is the law when i say law means it means law keeping or good works or uh, by which they can obtain their their own righteousness thinking that they will, they will gain favor 
in the sight of God. They will get they will get acceptance in the sight of God. But God said that He does not accept anyone on that basis. That, that, that you have to understand the the, 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 the the work of atonement, what Jesus did on, on the cross once and for all, annihilate, annihilate any in any way, any kind of way men will choose to approach God. The only way men can approach God is, is, is what Jesus accomplished uh, 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 as, as to keeping the law and dying on the cross. It is the only basis by which God can save any a human being. Let me put it this way. Uh, let, me, let me put it this way. Uh, even though I didn't say this before, the thing about law keeping, let's just say that, let's just say that you keep the law. No, no, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go straight to what I want to do. So that is the second way. So one, grace, and two, law. And then, and then he said that he said that he said that who called you by the grace of Christ and are turning to what a different gospel, not that there is what another one. So Paul made it. Paul also said that look, there is only one gospel. There is only one good news. There are no many gospels. So if you if you choose law. Law, law, law is not good news. Law, law is actually bad news. Why? Because the Bible said that with the knowledge, with, uh, 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 the Bible said that with, with the law comes comes the knowledge of sin. The, all that the law does is to diagnose you. It, it gives you the knowledge of sin, and also it condemns you. Once it diagnoses you, it condemns you because you've not kept the law perfectly. So the, the only thing the law can do is war to kill you. It kill you. It kill. It, it kill your ability to think that you can you can save yourself or or or, or you or you can get approval before God by, by keeping the law because you cannot keep it perfectly. So uh, Paul said that any other way that you choose uh, is not good news. It, it is not. It is. It, uh, it, it, it is. It, in a sense, it is bad. It is not a gospel. It is something else because why there is only there is only one gospel. And then in the book of I think that Paul said that and there is no salvation. In, there's and there is salvation in no one, for there is no other name by which we can be saved uh, under heaven. So the only the, the only name by, uh, by which we can be saved under under heaven is what Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that He made on the cross for us. And then and then He went on. He said that He said that. So what we also spoke about. He went on. He said that. Uh, he said that. He said that. Not that there is a, a, there is well, another one. Of course, we define gospel. We define, we define the good. We said that the gospel is the good news concerning uh, 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 Jesus or, or Christ, uh, uh, God's God's uh, 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 Son, God incarnate, who became the God Man, hundred percent God, hundred percent man. He lived a perfect righteous, uh, 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 a perfect righteous life on this earth. He kept he, he kept the law of God. He fulfilled the law of God perfectly. Both in the And then when he kept when he kept it, he went on the cross and died and died on the cross and rose again on the on the on the third day uh, on the third day. So that is that is the that is what that is the gospel. So that when you put your faith in Christ alone, uh, 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 by grace alone, true, uh, 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 that is the only way that you can be saved. That is good news. Good news. You don't do anything. Christ has done all the work. And, and, and then all you have to do is that believe what he has done for you. And that is also a gift. Faith is also a gift that God gives to everyone. For the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God or by the preaching of the gospel. Amen. So, so that's what, that's what uh, we define the gospel to be. And then, and then he went on, he said that, and then he said that, verse 7, not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and what and want to distort the gospel of Christ, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. So last week, uh, uh, last two weeks, that was that that was the, the the last thing that we spoke about. So it's possible that 
that that uh, 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 though the, the, if though even though there is only one gospel or there's no another there's there, there's no other gospel but one gospel he said that there are some in the church there are some who have come to the church who are troubling you and are trying uh, uh, are trying or they, they, they want to distort what the gospel of Christ so he said that these people that he, he called he called them troublers that's what we we, we we talked about two weeks ago he said that these people who have come in they, uh, they are troublers and they have come to they have come and they, they begin to unsettle your minds and who are these troublers and we say that these troublers are of two kinds the first kind is what he, he talked about in chapter two uh, in chapter two when he said when he said that that uh, when he said in, in verse four yet because of false brothers secretly brought in who slip in to spy out our freedom that we have in christ so that they might bring us what into slavery so he said that he said that false brethren slip in so we talk we, he called them false brethren uh, false brothers or false brethren so if he's calling them false brother that means they are all false christian they are not true believers they are not born again that's why he calls them false brothers or false false brethren so 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 so, so he said that uh, even the way they came in is like he said that they, they were they were secretly brought in who slip in who slip in that word secretly brought in who slip in is what i say that is it's like it's like somebody going to what a concert and when they go to a concert it's sort of coming through the main door so that they can have a ticket purchase and enter and enter in to, with the ticket purchase and uh, uh, that because that's the only way you, you enter you have to you have to you have to have a ticket to get in or you have to pay your your way in but, uh, but there are some people who go to the concert and they, they they come through the back door they they, they creep through the back door uh, 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 undetected and then they mix with the people so uh, and, and then another way of seeing the, the, this phrase is that it is like somebody going to the riverside uh, uh, step into the river and slip in under the river without making what a ripple effect so paul said that this is how the, these false brothers came in among us or, or or come into the churches they come in undetected uh, nobody knows the, nobody know how they, they came in but they are among us the only way we can identify them later on is by their teaching so that is how they, they sleep in they sleep in undetected uh, undetected even in our churches today uh, people uh, uh, don't, don't think that everybody that comes to church uh, uh, is a christian there are people who, who call themselves christian the bible makes it clear that just because somebody called themselves christian does not mean that they are a christian and that's what this uh, this test is also uh, also is talking about because they pretend to be christians and they said that they creep in and what did they do he said that to spy on on, on our freedom so that they will what they will be, that be, we talk about our freedom in christ that means our salvation that we receive by faith why so that they will bring us back what into slavery so what he mean by into slavery mean uh, it to back to law keeping back to back to back to the old covenant uh, 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 old covenant way and and, and paul said and paul said that we, we didn't even submit to them we didn't give them we didn't yield in submission to that if, even for once amen because we know uh, the freedom that we have in christ and then there's the the other group who are called the who are called the judaizers of course i told you uh, uh, two weeks ago that uh, even the false brothers are also called uh, uh, the way uh, in church history the way uh, they are they are also part of the judaizers uh, so you can they, they don't uh, even though i separate it, it, it they, 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 are, they, they all fall into the category of the judaizers but the judaizers uh, 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 you have to know that, that 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 they are not only false false brother or false christian which i just explained to you they are judaizers who also came who are also in the church who are also true believers these are true christian these are born again christian who put who, who obtain their who obtain salvation by grace alone true faith alone in christ alone remember i said that uh, when we look at the book of the book of us we, uh, uh, i told you that i told i told you that on the day of pentecost peter preached to what three thousand cloud on uh, i mean he preached to the crowd and three thousand were saved on the spot and later on in the temple he preached an, another powerful message and thousands of thousands of people were saved and later on the bible said that many were being saved daily uh, 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 god was added to the church as they were being saved on a daily basis and then later on the bible made a statement he said that of all those were of all those who were saved many a great many of them were priests a great many are priests who who became obedient to the faith 
So when you come to us, chapter five, it, it talks in uh, uh, verse one, and and then and then I believe verse five. I believe it it, 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 it said that, uh, that, that that they were believer believers who were who were what who were of the party of the Pharisee. So these were the priests who, who were saved. They, they, they were born again. They, 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 were, they were before their salvation. They were serving as priests. They were serving in the temple. So uh, in the temple, and he said that they became part. Uh, they, they, uh, 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 and he said that he said that. Sorry. Amen. He said that they became part. Uh, 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 I mean, this were, uh, uh, these are Christians who were part of the Pharisees. That means prior to being Christian, they were Pharisees. And then these were the teachings that they were teaching. They said that in addition to the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross, a person has to be circumcised in order to, in order to be saved. Not only that, he said that they, they should be commanded, they should be ordered, to keep all the law of Moses, why? And then, and then we said, and we said that, and we said that no, this is this is a, a damnable uh, a heresy, or this is a wrong teaching. Why? Because the, what they were what they were actually saying is that Jesus's sacrifice, Jesus's atonement on the cross, uh, uh, is insufficient to save, or the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross is insuff is is insufficient to save and insufficient to receive forgiveness of sin. That means you have to add to what Jesus did on the cross, even though God said that, that, that the Bible said that the, 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 full, the full wrath of God was poured upon the Son of God for every sin that you and me will ever commi uh, uh, committed. He suffers the, the, the sin of the whole world. He endured the, the, the agonies of hell on the cross. The Bible said that he propitiated uh, uh, for our sin on the cross. And that way to propitiate me, he satisfied the wrath of God. That means he, uh, he, he endured, he, he, he received every wrath that God would put upon you. He took it for you. And now here come people saying that that, that is insufficient, that you have to do more. Uh, uh, more. In, in, another, in another way of saying that, they are trying to say you have to suffer uh, uh, suffer for your, own, uh, for your own salvation. So they were saying that you have to uh, uh, be circumcised and you have to keep the law. You, you have to sweat. You have to do something in addition to what God has done through Christ Jesus. And, and I told you, and I told you that that was a mixed gospel. It's a mixture, it's a mixture of law and word and, and, and God and gospel. That was the predominant, the predominant heresy or false teaching in Paul's time. The, uh, 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 it's, not, it's not that they were not preaching the cross, but, but, but they were preaching the cross plus the law. And, 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 and two weeks ago, I told you that even though the law and the gospel work together, uh, work together, they complement each other. Law is one thing, and gospel is another thing. The, the, they are not the same. Law is one thing, gospel is another thing. Uh, another thing. Uh, the way the law and the gospel work is that if, uh, if every faithful preacher that is preaching uh, is, is uh, 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 the, when you come to the audience, there are two people in the audience. So uh, two people in the audience. There are those who know that they are sinners. They, they are bedding with sin. They know they are sinners. They, 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 they're seeking to, to be set free, to be free from their sin. They know they are lost. But there are others who come to you in their self-righteousness, uh, 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 assuming that they are perfect, they are righteous. There's nothing wrong with them. They, 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 uh, they, 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 they've not seen. You know, when I witness, I, I hear most of uh, do, do, uh, do people like that. Uh, 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 it's like they, they, don't, they don't know sin. Even sometimes when you tell them, when you point to sin, they still admit, they still think that they are good people good people so th these people you don't give them the gospel because if you give them the gospel it's not going to help them it's, they're going to they're not going to appreciate it if you go to the hospital the first thing the doctor does is to diagnose your sickness before it gives you the prescription the gospel is the prescription the the the, the, the instrument to to diagnose uh, our sin our our sin disease is the the law like i said i quoted earlier on with, with the law comes what the knowledge of sin. So the law is like a mirror, head up to you, head up to you, so that you can see yourself, and and then it show you who you really are, how sinful and how lost, and and how how you are under the condemnation of God, because the law brings what condemnation. And again, uh, and again, the Bible say that uh, uh, later on in this book, uh, Paul said that what well, the law is what our schoolmasters 
leading us or pointing us to Christ. The law cannot preach the gospel to you, but it will point you to Christ. After it diagnoses you, it conveys you, you are under conviction, and then it points you to Christ, that that is the only way you can be saved. That is the prescription. That is what you need. So you, you, don't, you don't mix them together. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so the good news is one thing, and then and then the law is uh, is another thing. But what these people w- were doing is that they were messing it together. They said that you have to you have to be uh, uh, in, a, in in addition to the to the gospel, you you have to do something in order to be saved. And Paul said that no, that is uh, th- uh, that that will not do. So that is what we talk about. Of course, we also talk about in our own Christian life. Also, we talk about we said uh, of course. I, I told you that all who all who who, who, uh, all who preach a mixture gospel uh, 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 are deemed as what well. uh, 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 they are deemed as let me put it this way they are deemed as uh, 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 enemies of the cross of Jesus Christ and then I told you that you and me also become enemies or of the cross of Jesus Christ when 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 uh, 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 okay, let, before I come there let me let me so first of all he says this. It says this, but there are some who trouble you and what and what and, and want to distort the gospel of Christ. So they want to go distort the gospel. Another verse you say perverse, or another word of saying it is to corrupt, to corrupt, or to, to they, they bring to you a, div, a twisted gospel. It says that these people were doing it deliberately. It's not, it's not like it's not like it's not like it's not like a, 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 somebody who is a faithful preacher. Who, uh, whose, uh, whose intention is to, de- to divide the word of God rightly, but sometimes uh, they, 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 they make an error and they divide it wrongly. But these people, uh, uh, every faithful preacher is open to correction. Once their error is pointed to them, they correct it. But these people, it is deliberate. They, they know it is. They know what they are doing. They know what they know that they are missing something, or they know what they are bringing to you. So Paul said, Paul, Paul said that. Uh, the, what they are bringing to you is not it's not a gospel it is something else it's, it's a twisted doctrine it's a it's a it's a it's a distorted it is corrupt uh, 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 and that is not uh, that is not gospel that's why i say that you uh, once you miss law and gospel it becomes more corrupt it is not it is not a gospel that you are bringing to the people it is not good news the law never gives to you good news it only it only it is a, a, a what administration of death to you that's what the bible says so that is not good news so Paul said that that's what they were doing. And I said that people who teach these teachings are, well, are deemed as enemies of the cross of Jesus Christ because they see that it is, it is insufficient. And then we, 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 we also say that uh, in modern days, when, when, when you and me, uh, uh, when we receive, uh, when we go to God, when we sin and we go to God and we sin and, and we sin and then we are looking for forgiveness and, and, then, and then we go in, 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 before him and we confess our sin and, and God has said clearly in his word, that he's faithful and just and he will forgive us of our sin and cleanse us, cleanse us from all of our own righteousness and then we walk away from his presence with our guilt the, the guilt that we confess to him we walk we walk away from his presence with it still carrying that guilt as though he has not forgiven us and, 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 and charging god of being unfaithful to to what he has promised and and and, and that and that that jesus dying on the cross is, is, that, is, is that he has paid it. God, God's wrath is satisfied uh, uh, on him for you. So Jesus paid, we said Jesus paid the full penalty. The faithful and just means that the justice of God has already been set on the Son of God. So God is not demanding double payment so that, so that your past, present, and future sin are forgiven. So we, we, we tell you that when you do that, you dishonor the blood of Jesus. That's what you are doing. You are saying that it is insufficient to save you. It is insufficient to forgive you. So, so I, so last week I told you that that, that we should endeavor to, to 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 accept God's forgiveness and walk in the power of that freedom that He gives to us. So today I want to I want to also talk about. So this is what I want to talk about today. So uh, in, in the same verse. So last week, okay, let me put it this way. So I, I told you that in Paul's day, the false gospel that was predominant was was a mixture of law. And word and gospel, so that, that was what was going 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 on in Paul's day. Uh, that you have to be circumcised is on in order to be saved, or you have to keep the law uh, in in addition to 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 the gospel in order to be saved. So that was the teaching that was going on uh, 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 that uh, predominantly. Uh, but in 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 our modern day, the, the the false gospel, the false gospel of today is what we call the prosperity 
and faith gospel. That is the first gospel of today. And what is all this teaching uh, for uh, 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 prosperity gospel is all about? Let's turn our Bible to First 